right, hello everyone. How's it going? Uh, welcome to the most professional speedrunning event on the internet. Um, I am your host, Walver, the game developer of this game that you're about to see broken. Um, and uh, we're going to have four of the top, the top four runners in the world of Joey In the world. Are going to be racing a speed run any percent. And we have someone here with us you're already seeing on screen char bunny who is speed running royalty and has hosted wow. a numerous and run in numerous high profile speed running events and so we are blessed to have you here char bunny thank you for joining wow man i started the stream i'm already blushing really hard i don't know if it shows on camera but thank you for that introduction yep my name is char bunny really excited to be here i have played this game really it's a really really fun game um i have not played it fast and so i'm really excited to share with all of you some of these speedrun strats and techniques because wow looking at what they're doing after what i did it's it's a little different it's a little different i must say yeah just a little bit and so what we're doing today this is our third community event like this where we have um done a live broadcast based on speedrunning community of the game the two we've done previously were world rush which was basically like that's a feature in the game where you can go into the menus and say oh i want to play through you know all these levels in order and we did, what did we do? We did World 2 and World 7, I think, are the ones that we have done so far. So this is our first time doing kind of the, like, you know, the real speedrun category of this game, which is any percent. Like, every game, right, any percent is kind of the the main category, right, which just involves trying That's to the beat one. the game as fast as possible, right? So this is going to be, the players are going to start fresh uh, from, like, a new save, and they will be plowing through the whole game as fast as they can. That in includes things like going through the worlds and everything, right? Because in Level Rush, it, it just skips to the levels for you. But here, uh, we're gonna see them navigating through all the worlds and everything. And um, Charbani, I know you did, a, you, were, you were very, very gracious with your time and did a little bit of research ahead of time. So what do we have to look forward to today? So many things. So one of the things I think is really cool about this game is you mentioned the overworld. In a lot of games, when you go from level to level, that's kind of the downtime. You, you're not really doing too much the speed and you're hitting next. In this game, there's actually skips that play, take place on the overworld. So I'm really excited to call those out when they happen. The other thing that's my favorite in the game overall is the fact that there's certain levels that will just fling you in a direction. You just go super fast, get a ton of speed, and as a speedrunner, even not speedrunning the game, that's just an exciting feeling. And so seeing how they control that momentum on those levels, the tricks they use to navigate, I think is really exciting. Like the hammer and clock levels are kind of some of my favorites, so looking forward to seeing those a bit later on as well. Right, and I guess the previous events we did focus on a single world, and the game is structured where each world has a different like main power-up. Um, and right. so we only really saw the grow power up in the world two event and we saw tons of the grapple power up in the world seven event but this of course we're going to see a little bit of everything because and we can get more into this as as we actually watch the race unfold but um all the racers are going to have to complete six of the eight levels in each world and so there's some routing going on as well in terms of which levels do you choose and do you go for the main exit or the secret exit and we were joking off stream that um, I was noticing that the route is just littered with secret exits because it tended to be the case where I would make a level and then I would find somewhere to hide the secret exit and it tends to be closer or quicker to get to if you know where it is. Um, and so we're going to see a lot of secret exits today. But towards the end of the run, I, I changed that and made on purpose, made some of the uh, main exits uh, take or be the faster of the two. So we'll see some stop signs and not just the green triangles as we go through the game. Um, but anyway, I guess we should, let's quickly introduce our runners and then we'll just like get right into this because I am very excited to see this race unfold. This is going to be just three, two, one, go race, no resets. So this will be pretty different than what all these runners normally do where when they're playing and they make a mistake, you can just restart over because, you know, why keep going if you're not going to potentially get your best time, but this will be a little different. And this um, emphasizes consistency as well, which is an aspect that you don't always see in speedrunning with competitions like this. So really excited to see if that changes things around based on what we were expecting going into this event. Yeah, and I know everybody's been practicing, so. Um, oh yeah. And <laughs> uh, you can see the names already over there in the commentator section because they're in the in the chat with us. Uh, so I guess, um, I don't know, no particular order. We'll just go in the order they are on screen there. So uh, first up we have Metroberry who, uh, has been playing the game, I think the longest, Metroberry, is that correct, of everyone that's in this race today? You've been around- Yeah, I was in the first round of playtesting, yeah. 
Yeah, which so, means you are October twenty twenty one. Yeah, so um, one of the one of the members of the community that's been speedrunning the game probably the longest, um, and held on to the the record in this category for for a while before some rest of the crew sort of showed up, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah. Um, so how are you? Uh, how are you feeling? What are your thoughts heading into the race today? Um, I'm feeling pretty good actually. I've uh, been practicing a lot, so. Nice. Right. Love to hear that. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Good luck. Next up, um, coming to us, this is an international competition, by the way. Coming to us from Australia is Patokyo. How's it going? Yes, yes, it's going good. It's going good. Current world record holder. In this yes, category. yes. You yes. were expressing some confidence when we chatted. Uh, oh, it's, it's, for it's, this it's, event. it's, it's. I'm going to say the confidence is going down steadily. <laughs> oh, no. From seeing, from seeing what the other runners have been doing the past couple of days, it's... Who knows? Who knows? Anything can happen. Yeah, make sure you cheer our competitors on so they can all get their confidence for today. <laughs> yeah, this is, a, this is a stressful thing to do, for sure. Yeah. But we're going to, you know, we're going to have a good time no matter what. Um, yes. All right, well, yeah, thanks, and uh, good luck. Hopefully you can uh, defend your title. Um, thank you. Thank you know, you. maybe we'll see... A new PB today? What? You know, anything could happen. Anything could happen. Very, very, very highly doubted. Um, <laughs> but we'll be keeping an eye on what's going on for and stuff. It'll be great. Um, next up is Yumae, who joins us from Japan, and Yumae is like the the recent runner who just came in and took over the leaderboards on half the ILs, especially the classic ILs, so all the classic levels that I added into the game fairly recently. Uh, Yumae just sort of came in and took them over, um, and has <laughs> rapidly been giving everyone competition on every category uh, that he puts his focus on. Um, and I asked uh, Yumae uh, how, he, how he was feeling about, uh, about the race. And uh, he said, just looking to maybe drop a PB by avoiding any large mistakes. So, <laughs> so very so we'll nice, very good that. goal to have. Yeah, yeah. Again, as we mentioned, it's about uh, consistency. So, it, avoiding the large mistakes is probably better than going for the wild thing that saves two seconds or whatever. But we'll see. Maybe not everyone will have that same strategy. Um, and last but not least, we have Zombie, also the the owner of a thousand uh, nicknames. <laughs> How's it <True>. going? <laughs> <laughs> and now, Zombie, you are the defending champion in terms of live uh, competitions, right? This is very true. So maybe the sort of clutch, uh, you know, perform under pressure stat is the one to look out for you. How are you feeling? Are yeah. you, uh, what's your, what's your strategy going into this race? Um, I got a lot of breath that doesn't want to come out. Just some nervous energy. But uh, <laughs> I think, uh, I'm going to be honest, smart money's on Tokyo. But I think maybe I can, I can pull out a hat trick. Get, okay, get, that get would the be, three in a row. That would be something. You've got the potential. We believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess with that, I mean, there's not, you know, what we're here for today is probably not to look at this cool vintage jelly car hoodie, which I put on today just for this event. I had this Quite made stylish. like back when the first one came out and I've had it ever since, but I never wear it because I don't want to like ruin it. <laughs> so. Gotta keep that one safe. The yeah. best I could do is wearing my Kirby hat because that was the most gelatinous video game character hat that I had. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. We also somehow coordinate on the white shirts. So. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to switch over to the view that we will be having for the most for the most of the race here. And uh, let's just uh, double check that everyone is ready. Racers, are you let's ready? Let's go around so you can see Tokyo top left. Tokyo, mm -hmm. are you ready? I am ready. <laughs> Awesome. In the top right, you can see Yumae. Yumae, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Yay, thank you. In the bottom left, we have Metroberry. Metroberry, how are you feeling? You ready? I'm ready. All right, and bottom right is Zombie. Zombie, how about you? I'm ready. I think right, we're good well, to go then. Uh, I'm going to open like up my splits, down. actually. Oh, okay. okay. I have my splits ready, yep. Okay, right now we're actually make sure, ready. Make sure you've clicked on the game, it has focus, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get ready to skip that first cutscene. Yep, you better believe it. Aww. <laughs> 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 we're 
so hard on this. Nice art. I'll, 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 maybe next time. Yeah, nice. I know. Yeah. I really it's a really good cutscene. Unfortunately, hey, we won't get to see it today. 15% <laughs> win. Yeah, we'll do like a we'll do an all cutscenes event later, just for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Looks like everybody's good to go. Uh, Charbine, do you want to count us down? Absolutely. All right. Get ready in three, two, one, go. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Look at that cutscene go flying by. <laughs> no more cutscene. So right, we're so now we're... in World 1. Yes, yeah, go take ahead. it away. No, okay, go ahead. <laughs> world 1 just starts us off right in the first level. So we're already jelly carring, already worlding, going pretty well. There are no power-ups in this world, so you're going to get really used to the movement in this game and sort of how the physics work, what the players can do, all of those things. And we're already at our first stop sign. Let's go. Yep, the and... Second... Um... You're going to see uh, paying no attention to the tutorials that are showing up on the screen. I think the players know how to play the game at this point. Here's our first example, though, of a secret exit. So the, the level they played a second ago, they touched the stop sign to exit it. 1-2 here, everyone goes for the secret exit because it's faster. Now, will people go for it the turnaround at the beginning? So you can see a couple people are trying to go around the back of this first oh, platform. But Tokyo think, just Tokyo. got it. Oh, so it's oh and Metroberry nice. got it. Yes. I think oh, Zombie must everyone. have too, but I missed it because they're already on to the next level. No kidding. That went and, really fast. And you, That's Maya, got it too. Everyone, everyone got it. Dang. Yes. Oh, it's a great way to start. I want you to know and... that I cannot do that. Just, just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, controlling the momentum around that corner is very difficult because you need to be going forward at the end of it in order to get into the secret exit. And the next level's already happened. Uh, things are going pretty fast. And we skipped <laughs> the next level, actually. No one plays level five. We only have to beat six of the levels in every world out of those eight. So we get two skips and five's one of the slower ones. Well, so sometimes as you'll see here, there's like a door that won't open unless you complete a level or something like that. So there are some limitations occasionally on the routing options that the players have because they need to complete a level to let the overworld, let them continue kind of a thing. Now, which is why everyone's in this level you're seeing right now, which is, you know, not the fastest level probably, but it does but block still. you on the overworld. And Metroberry and Patokio both got a good skip at the start of that level. And so now we're neck and neck compared to everyone else, which is really exciting. They did a flip over one of the green bars to be able to skip an entire cycle there and part of the level, in fact. Here's yeah, another level we're going to do. Quite oh. difficult. We have a big skip coming up here too. This is a this is a beautiful one right here. Uh, normally this level would be like four times as long. Um, oh, actually, never mind. I forgot. Right, we're going for. No, we just escape. We don't actually play this. Yeah, one. right here. This little squeeze little through. Tiny gap. <laughs> they don't want to wait on the cycle there. Oh no. Oh, oh no. that's unfortunate. <laughs> it is unfortunate. So Tokyo is going to managing to fall onto that bottom platform. Metro yeah. going to have to wait an extra cycle there. You might right there as well though. So just maybe okay. two or three seconds behind Tokyo at this. I'm catching in. There we go. And that's world one, uh, because we skipped five, and that's the only level we skipped so far. We can also skip eight, and that brings us to our next world. So on each world to close it out, we'll get the power up for the next world. Our next power up is Grow, which I think is your favorite, if you remember correctly, because that's like the classic jelly car power up. It is, yes, yes. The Grow used to be something you could always do, and then I got all game designery and made everything consistent in this new one, so you have to collect all the power ups, including the Grow, which means you don't always have it. Uh, which maybe from a speed running point of view is kind of a, a bummer because the older games when you could grow and shrink whenever you wanted in every level there was a little more options for movement so we're gonna see some examples of that here in these levels where grow is kind of the premier one and this was a level i i bet everyone wishes they could skip because it's quite long mm. but it's cool i actually find it pretty fun <laughs> as long as you get the squeeze first try <laughs> Tokyo does get it first. Chart looks very smooth. Trying to get inside that little tiny box, and you know, yeah, make sure you don't Yeah, even just getting under this uh, under this blue block is not quite as easy as these runners are making it look. It's very easy to get pushed out by it. Nice and smooth there. Still pretty close uh, at this point in time. Pretty much everyone on the same level right now. This is uh, the ride the wave level where the platforms kind of come up with the timing to just kind of drive straight across them. And then normally you'd go up a bunch of elevators to the right to the to the stop sign, but the secret exit, as is the trend for these early levels, is much faster. Right, you can see I'm just sort of dipping out early, going back, getting that one. Um, our next level is gonna show us a whole bunch of gears. So you'll see how they navigate those. There is one little gear they can skip, but for the most part, they kind of got to play this one through. Yeah, this one, there's not a lot you can do here. But I would like to point out something that so far I haven't seen a single example 
of the cool little like rainbow you complete the level so what is going on here well it turns out that's slow unfortunately as cool <laughs> as it is and so our runners wanting to go fast actually have some tech where if you quit out of the level there's a second or so where like your car will still move and as long as you make contact with the stop sign before that level actually exits or the triangle whichever exit you're going for you do complete the level and it saves you from having to wait through that fanfare so that is something you see them doing save and quitting on each level but it's a little risky because if you save and quit and your car doesn't hit that exit in time you get to replay the level so <laughs> gotta make sure you're careful about the timing there Oh, and uh, oh, Metro Bury just flew right over the exit there on this oh, long no. level we were just talking about. That is that's, that's... basically the same thing as if you had made the mistake Charbonne was just alluding to. 2-5 coming up. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so Tokyo giving us the heads up that this skip right here. Oh. Boing! And up on the first try. Okay, so this is going to be a big skip here to get to the secret exit. And there's that world exit skip we were just talking about. So while I am disappointed, no one wants to see the... Um, I'll take credit that the game's pretty stable and actually saves your progress, um, even when you're rude to it like that. So, you know. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take whatever win I can get on this. Considering that everyone is basically breaking my game right now. Zombie on the same skip, and I didn't quite get the bounce there. I'm sure it was, I'm sure it was an intended game. Of course. Of course as yeah. game designers we think of everything ahead of time and we're never surprised nice. by what players do tokyo just nailed a skip to get underneath an orange box once again completely skipping intended game design <laughs> just sort of doing <laughs> something different oh zombie just got the giant jump on that level as well this is yeah, looking nice. good for them. and uh, and metro is at the same spot right now yeah, maybe I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> yeah i'm gonna nope out on that yeah <laughs> Land is safe, good call. Zombies now doing the overworld it? skip in this world. Eventually we have a few of those. Don't have to take the platform around. Don't have to pass go and collect $200. We can just <laughs> skip out on this. I well, hope to collect $200. <laughs> That's true. That I is what's at stake here today. Yeah. <laughs> there are prizes on the line. First place will take home $200 today. Second brings home a $100. And everyone who does not get first or second still gets $50 to their name. So this is money on the line. This is an intense competition. Right, you are all professional speedrunners at this point. <laughs> Tokyo currently in the lead on oh, zombie three. Zombie didn't quite get the skip there. <laughs> it's I gotta oh, wait no. for the platform. Yeah, it's still faster than restarting the level, that's for sure. Definitely. All right, so yeah, we got two runners in World 3 now. I was saying uh, off stream that, oh, World 3 is kind of the slow one because the balloon is kind of the slowest um, of the power-ups. You know, it has a fairly fixed speed. There's not a ton you can do to speed up the balloon, but actually some of the levels in this world have uh, pretty interesting skips. They tend to be the world ones three, that yeah, don't focus on the balloon. The most, the most skips in the game, which makes it the <laughs> hardest, the most annoying world. This level Okay, so not three. annoying for the reasons I thought, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Here's one. Are you going to go for this for Tokyo right here? There's a, this level Oops. you're supposed to go down and around and flip around and then finally come back up and get to the stop sign. Or oh. you get... Oh. I can try again. It's okay. You can do. You can do you it. You can sort of flip here, get some traction, and try to just crawl around on that. I designed that. Look at how look how carefully I designed that. I was like, you can't get through there. You know, like, <laughs> this will be and great. And you definitely the can't easily. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, so but trying to get the momentum from the balloon oh, to flip around oh, on the back, so wheels can grip and pull that platform down while pulling you through. You can see. Oh no! Oh no! And meanwhile, you may pulls oh. it out and is now in the lead. And now Tokyo's got a tough decision to make here. Do you just, yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay. okay. Nice. <laughs> and this was, this was a rare stop sign appearance. So love to see it. <laughs> this next one's, I think the most chill looking one. I don't know that there are too many big skips, lots of balloon. The big thing there is sometimes we can skip some of the balloon refills. You get all the power-ups on a timer. So you do need to refill every once in a while. But with some good movement, you don't have to stop on all of the platforms. So you see one off to the right on Yuma screen. No, we're just going to skip that one. I think we can even skip the one in the corner. As long as we make it to the next one in time and don't fall, we're good to go. Yeah, you get a full refill as long as you touch, you know, touch one at all. So, oh, and getting one when you're partially full doesn't really help you all that much or, or you know, because it just fills you back up to the same amount. You can't like bank, you know, more. Right. Of any all of was just very, very kind on this level and put, um, put heaps of power ups just in case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of them. Metroberry now going for that skip with a stop sign. It's such a tricky one to get yeah. everything lined oh, up. Getting bad I have, luck. <laughs> I have done it, but it, you know, 
it is very there it is that was oh, nice there we go that was pretty yeah there we go and you may just finishing our our slow uh thoughtful balloon <laughs> level and now getting into let's actually take a look at this and see one of the if, shortest uh, ones if you can the get the skip here least. where you just skip the button and try to hit that stop sign before it gets shot off and it's gonna take a few tries but it's well worth taking a few tries to get this because there it is, there it is. Nice. Nice, that only took, what, three tries? So that'll give Tokyo a chance potentially to catch up here a little bit if they can get it first try like they claimed they were going to, but we didn't see it today. Oh, oh, that was so close on the okay. second one too. That's a three, okay, all right. Ooh, there it is, oh, I shouldn't have said anything. There it is, all right. There. Now that one, you don't wanna try to do that uh, skip, so we get to see the rainbow, so that makes me happy. <laughs> you see at least once in this whole thing. <laughs> You may go in for another secret exit here. You just move the ball the other way. Don't go with it. And then you just sort of tumble down some stairs to get to the secret exit on that level. Yeah, very nice. And yeah. then we get to chase down another stop sign. He wanted more stop signs. So like, here's another one. Yeah, here we no, go. Just... And there you see that it looked like Hume was kind of pausing there. And you might be like, why are they doing that? They were actually purposefully bouncing on that platform to push the stop sign down so that it will be down here and they can get to it faster instead of getting trapped in the second half of the level up above. Very nice. Yeah, it's supposed to go up and sort of lock itself in a little cage, and our speedrunners are all going to try to get to it before that happens, one way or another. Okay, we'll get Tokyo attempting the same quick. thing now. Oh, it's kind of close. Now, the good news is... There's another option oh. here, right there. Oh. Oof. Oh, God. It's so, so, so scary to see that level <laughs> skip it. I'm so scared of it every time. Making it a little safer, the balloon can pick up the goal for the players. So they don't have to hit it with their car if they have a balloon power up and they're able to use the balloon to make contact. That's right. Okay, Thank so we Thank you for we're... putting that in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I'm sure that was, you know, completely intentional. Obviously. Now we go yeah. from that stop sign to world four, which is the only level where in the world record, there are no stop signs. Every single level in the world record version is a secret, but there's plenty of alternates. So we'll see what our runners pick up for today. All right, so we're looking like we've got a little bit of a, like our two leaders are pretty close and then Metro and Zombie are maybe like a level-ish behind, looks like right now. So still pretty close and there's definitely a lot of run <laughs> left. So we're only 12 minutes in, we're, you know, roughly uh, a little less than halfway through if this was on pace for, you know, the kinds of right. records there's these players are capable of. There's a lot of, of. left. And Sticky Wheels is a tricky world too because the wheels power up lets you stick to surfaces, but it's not guaranteed. If you've uh -oh. got two momentum going one way or the other, you will fall back off again. And that does happen throughout the speed run. So runners are going to have to manage that need for speed with that need to actually stay stuck to the surface they want to attach to. Yeah, and uh, the level that uh, Patokyo is on right now is a fun one where at the beginning, there's a strat there where you sort of flip down and try and catch right on the edge of the platform, um, which is an example of that, where if you catch on too loose, you go out of bounds. Mm -hmm. Got to watch out for this. Okay, well, coming up like next, this one has some pretty fun dynamic level. movement here. So that actually puts Patokyo and Yume really close together at this point. Yeah. Yeah, let's go back Tokyo to the Tokyo a little we're... faster on the start just because Tokyo does not actually pick up the sticky wheels. Notice that Tokyo had to wait for the timer, though. There's a timer There's a cue that we're right using right yep. in order to make Bounce sure we catch that catch. green platform. Hmm, Yume had some really nice movement there, though, and now is yeah. a little bit ahead there. I didn't actually see what was that but that we we'll have to go back and look at that later that was uh, back and forth was fast <laughs> wow was really everyone we're intense. in world four and everyone's real neck and neck this is this is great right yeah, this right. one oh barely made it over that corner oh Tokyo yeah this is a, well, this is a very scary fast. level here where you go up this big launch ramp and then you have to get thrown over the edge and you can't go too high or you go out of bounds out of the top of the level. What kind of person puts out of bounds at the top of the level, right? That, that one was entirely, entirely um, game design as well. Like that was intended. Of course, yeah, 100%. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to make the top just high enough that you can ballistic trajectory away. Okay, this is an interesting one here. The one Tokyo is on right now. The stop sign is directly above this like big red hammer thing. And if you can like wrap yourself around, you can actually go straight up and hit the stop sign. Is it worth taking a few tries at that or just letting it launch you and going up to the secret exit as Patokyo is demonstrating right now? So I think uh, Metroberry was practicing that and may give it a go. Maybe an opportunity to gain a little time. We'll see. 
That's one of my favorites. That hammer launch level, you just go flying. Anytime we get to do that, it's super cool. Also, that wall I, doesn't exist. It's fake, so you can see I, my just sneaking up to secret. Oh, multiple people are going to go for it. Let's see this. That's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, here we go. I uh, missed the secret exit on 4-3. I think it's over for me. <laughs> No. Well, no. Never over till it's over. With it, you yeah. gotta keep going. Okay. We know 8-7 is in the run, so <laughs> there is <laughs> always a chance. Yeah, that's true. Getting closer to the end. Oh, there we go. You guys finished this the world of four. Got the rocket oh, wow. power for the first time and is now already on top of five. Yeah, this is a great pace, yeah. Now world five is the rocket world which is um, a new power-up to this game. There's never been in any of the previous ones. All the power-ups we've seen so far have made an appearance in, you know, the old sort of classic versions of the game that were on mobile and WiiWare and all those versions back in the day. Um, but we've, we're into the new power-ups now. Um, and this one definitely is very movement, you know, heavy uh, power-up, very skill-based, um, and lots of ways to sort of squeeze a little extra speed depending on how you manipulate the car. So very skillful world we're seeing here. Right, and with the momentum of it, it, it gets out of hand really quickly. If you just hold down the gas button on that one, <laughs> casually oh, Metro Berry got the uh, got the skip we were talking about, by the way, just oh, now. So that yes. was great to see. Congratulations, nice that's amazing. Yeah. Also appropriately for the rocket world, uh, we're now sort of themed in space. So you can see we're launching to the moon and back. And it's not just within levels. We now get to do a launch to the moon on the overworld, which I think is so cool. Um, but yeah, the one launch I, I to the moon, the moon is launch, you know, it was cool. Good. We'll do it twice. It's very good. Um, the next level, though, starts off with a pretty tricky maneuver. We're trying to use this gravity field to get up on top of the next platform. So you see, we're kind of supposed to go in between those two lines. We don't want to, we want to get on top of it. You can see where the ghost goes there, but getting the right momentum into this upper gravity field to give you enough rightward momentum to launch across and upward momentum at the right time, giving you usually collide with the top of the screen is not easy. Oh, beautifully done by Patokyo though. That's an amazing switch to the top of the level. Yeah, well, now look at this, we're neck and neck. Yeah, collecting the grow power up almost simultaneously right now. So this is, this is really cool. And Patokyo well, eating out a little bit of a lead here. We'll see uh, how this evolves over the rest of this world. See this overworld section, overworld movement again, with the neutral gravity field. Okay, and this one is very much a rocket with a lot of narrow corridors, which means that you're just going fast. You don't have to worry about the direction you're going as much, especially as we get the sticky wheels power up and just sort of stick to ice, which has no friction. And then zoom, just kind of accelerate along the path. But it's what you're cool going to see here is a here. pretty scary thing here where they dip down mm. out of these and they, they have to watch the out of bounds is right there. So when you go for that secret exit, you got to get control of your jelly car real quick. Otherwise, you're going straight out of bounds and then you have to reset the level. Absolutely. But that was really nice by Patokyo and Yume really fast. They are both really close in this one. You know, seeing the power up combos in later levels always makes things very interesting. Oh, clock launch. <laughs> <laughs> This is another oh. one where the secret exit is uh, dramatically faster. Although some people actually have found a way to, for the regular exit, you can clip through that big clock thing. And then if you go down, that's where the main exit is. So oh. it's, it's still not faster, but it's pretty quick if you can get it. Got it. You may did pull ahead on that one. It took Tokyo a few tries to get that launch into the secret exit, a little bit low on the first two attempts. This level is also one where we're gonna see the secret exit as well. You can see, don't you feel as, you know, if you were me, like, this is the point where you'd be like, oh my gosh, why is everyone just going to the secret exits? Like, what the heck, you know? I built an entire rest of the game here. So we're, we're going to see the game design here. evolve here in real time as, uh, as we continue through the run. Oh but that is the end of uh, the rocket ship world for the two people on the top screens. So now we're going to get into the signal power up, which is an interesting one. It messes with the timings a little bit. You no longer have to wait for all the platforms. You now control when they show up. So multiple things to think about. This is the level where it's like if you've ever done the tapping your head and rubbing your stomach thing, I feel like that's what this power up makes you do. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Basically, anytime you see sort of a light pink object in the world, that object is activated by the power up. So the players are sort of in control of turning those on and off or adjusting them. So um, a little different feel than the other ones. But once you again, it's just again. secret exits on parade here. <laughs> uh, 
You can watch on Yume's screen as well. Oh no, we're not going for it. There's a way to use the pink platform on the left to sort of skip the cycle. So what you're watching on Yume's screen is what's intended. You go up on that platform, you use it to wait. We'll see if Tokyo tries to do a bit more adventurous stuff. Oh, okay. oh, went for it a little bit. You can use that to fling up even over that blue box, but it is very tricky with the timing. Oh, this level feels so mean because like you go up, you do all this work, and then you see a stop sign. So you'll see we have to do a couple launches to make sure we get enough momentum to go up and around. And there it is, the stop sign. Wow, isn't that great? No, JK, you have to fall through the whole thing and go collect multiple other power-ups in order to get back. No, the rudest thing is that the secret exit, you have to do the entire level and then go all the way back. <laughs> all the way oh my back. Goodness. See, cool this was, you know, this one. yeah. <laughs> now, but this is, I, you know, this is, this, this is dramatic level design, right? So you see the stop sign, but you just can't quite get it, right? See? So, you know, I mean, you know, let's, let's give a little appreciation to the, the flair for the dramatic that's involved here, okay? You know? It's, 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 a no, nice, it's cinematic. It's nice, it's nice breather. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Um, Toki, All right, are everybody you going to go for this chat on, on 6-3? There's a... Yeah, 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 why not? Yes, okay. There's a strat you can do on 6-3 that's not necessarily faster, but it looks really cool. <laughs> so that, I think the visual appeal is part of speedrunning, so I'm really excited. So you can see you may going for sort of the standard strat where you just cruise through this level with the power up. You don't actually get the signal power up on this level, by the way, uh, which is kind of cool, but watch Potokyo's screen here. So we're going to go and play the level a little bit normally, but then there's a block here. And we're just going to kind of stop for a second. And then we're going to hold on to this block, okay, line I it up so we have one wheel on each What's side of the corner. Here? And then, Boing. do! <laughs> <laughs> Just get flung forward with a lot of momentum as the game tries to figure out how to resolve the impossible state you put it in. <laughs> That's just really cool. Thank you for showing that off. I'm really glad. <laughs> oh man, Zombie almost had the fortuitous bounce there on um, on oh. that level to get to the stop sign. The, the right in your face, right. but you can't quite get it. Stop sign. I have a feeling after this, the runners are gonna mm -hmm. take revenge on this level and figure out how to how to skip that second half. <laughs> that Trust part. me, we've we've tried. <laughs> <laughs> this might be one of those levels that, uh, that people were talking about, where if you routed in taking time away to go unlock a different car that was bouncier, mm -hmm. like it might pay off here. But I can't imagine mm -hmm. that if, if it was just that, it couldn't possibly be worth it. You'd have to have several of those probably. Oh, Metroberry pulling out a cool strat throw to speed up the second half of that level. That was nice. Kind of instead of falling down and sticking to the ground, did a nice little bounce and catch onto the wheel with the sticky. So that was very cool. Okay, so, so like Yume is going to skip pinball. There's a level there where you play pinball for a little Ooh, bit. It looks very cool. nice strat there that kept. So uh, Yume is on a level right now where there's these objects that phase in and out of existence, like, and basically they're on a timer. Um, but there, there was a problem, which is what happens if the players overlapping them when they want to become solid again, then objects would be overlapping and, you know, the whole world would, would fall apart. Um, so basically if you're overlapping those objects, they won't solidify. And there's a bit of a cycle skip there at the first part of the level where if you keep the car overlapping them, you can keep something phased out and you don't have to wait for it. It's pretty cool. And, uh, I see it again soon, that. but first it looks like Potokyo is doing the pinball level. I think the only runner to do it potentially. It's a great job. I think that was like the first fling was able to get it all the way up there. And now, you know, a signal is active. That brings the secret exit out towards you. So you can actually not even have to go get the regular exit again. But here Once is again, Tokyo. denied. <laughs> Tokyo's going to try the same thing of swinging there it is. around. You can see it's red. That's exactly yeah. what we were talking about. Nice. And then and there's a whole cool level here. Look at all these cool things that they just skip and go to the secret exit again. Because, of course, it's faster. Although this is a pretty tricky <laughs> jump right here. At least I thought it was, but uh, it didn't look very tricky when Potokyo did it. <laughs> Works well. Potokyo, or you may did have to play level eight, uh, which Potokyo will not because of the skip in the pinball level earlier. But that does but, wrap up world six for you, Maya. Right, and into the into the I, grapple we go. There's some pretty cool strats in these grapple levels. And this I was mean, one of your favorite. There's a grappling hook, you know. Yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty <laughs> dynamic thing. Um, I think it's probably the hardest power up just for casual players just because um, you're aiming and kind of you're doing more than you do with mm -hmm. the other power ups, but it does allow for a lot of movement, which is pretty cool. Right, and this is one of those power ups where speed running movement on this looks incredibly different from casual movement. Uh, when you're doing this casually, a lot of times you're just holding on to things and waiting for it to take you to the next spot. 
speedrunners are flinging themselves around using these swing-like momentum to get as fast to the level as they can. I think some of the climbing sections you'll really see that on, where they can skip certain, or normally what you think of as like handhelds, which obviously doesn't quite work for a car game, but works for me here. Like if you're rock climbing, you usually for a beginner, you're using every single handhold on the wall. Like the speed running equivalent here is they're going to be skipping a whole bunch of those using their momentum control to be able to swing the car around and get a lot of momentum and directions to just go really far in these levels. Yeah, and I imagine they 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 wish that I had given them just a little more room in the spot that Patokyo's in right now because you just can't quite <laughs> get through those rotating platforms yeah. any faster. And uh, you may be showing us now the first level where you lose your tires. Um, this is kind of a fun mechanic in World Seven. Besides the grapple, is these little lasers that will take your tires away from you, and then you're forced to just sort of roll around. Um, and once again, they're just completely denying my level design and skipping around. <laughs> saying, no, we'll just, we'll just bounce off in an interesting way and skip a big chunk of the level there. One thing that's kind of fun you can notice, too, is most of the runners have their best time ghosts displaying in the game, and so you can kind of get a sense, even for each individual level, how they are doing compared to their best time on that level, which is kind of a fun visual to keep an eye on. It doesn't mean they're ahead behind globally, of course, but per level. Well, what happened? I don't know if you saw that, but I... Uh... I got hit by the door in six one or seven one with the default car. <laughs> oh, that's very hard to do. There's a skip there that's possible with one of the other cars where you sort of just barely get out of the trigger that holds the door open, and then the door closes and throws you right to the end of the level. But um, no one's ever been able to pull it off with the default car, which is of course the car that everyone's going to be running with in this case because you don't want to take the time to go through the conditions required to unlock other cars, um, as that takes a lot of time away from you know the rest of the run. Now I'm worried that uh, seven one main exit skip might be possible <laughs> in any percent. Yeah, we'll have to go back and check the VOD. Uh, that would that would add some serious stress to this run if that became something you had to do to be competitive. <laughs> and it's looking like Yume has got a bit of a lead right now because they've already. Which what level are they on now? They're on. Yeah, uh, they're about ahead. half a level ahead. Yeah. But everybody's They're in the grapples right now, which is fun to see. <laughs> and uh, Patokyo is about to do some of that uh, spider spider car movement there that we were talking about. It's fun to see. We'll probably see some here from May as well. Oh, right. This is going to drop down to get the secret exit. Of course. Of course it's the secret exit. <laughs> I know. It's such a shock. That level, by the way, the regular exit is really cool. Okay? So just... <laughs> You know, get the know. game, play the game, check yeah, out yeah, all the yeah. regular X's yeah. for yourself. You're not seeing too many. It's really of them cool, here. I promise. It's, it's got some clever so mechanics in it. You know, <laughs> this level all triangles. Once again, we're just sort of trying to get behind them, sneak around, sort of squeeze our way through, oh and that's how we're going to get to the secret. Oh gosh, that was so smooth. Well. It was really wow. fast. <laughs> I think you may. They're going so fast there. They didn't even have time to do the little exit skip. Um, like almost <laughs> hit it faster than they're anticipating. That was amazing. That's okay. that's uh, affectionately that really called good. the Dorito level because <laughs> it looks like it's a bunch of Dorito <laughs> chips. <laughs> this next about. one's one of my favorites. I think it's the UFO level because you lose your wheels here in a second and then you start climbing through space with this grapple hook with all these little spheres. And so it looks like you're a little UFO and like flying around. <laughs> that was really fast too, it was nice. Yeah, this is one of those areas where you can really see what speedrun climbing looks like with this grapple power up and just how oh, yeah. well everyone's able to control the momentum. Yeah, Zombie and Metroberry oh. right now both both exhibiting some some beautiful no, movement I just, here. I just fell victim to the restart button being right next to the world exit button. Uh, oh no. no! I've heard That's... this complaint. I've heard you. <laughs> Thank you, boss I again. can't guarantee I'll do anything about it, but I've heard you and I appreciate and I feel your pain. <laughs> That. that is rough, Yay, though. Grabbing the final power-up, moving on to World 8, which is pretty exciting. Holy cow. Yeah, now, this World is a good Already in World 8. That's wild. Yeah, <laughs> World 8's got some tricky ones. We mentioned earlier 8-7. 8-7 is a very difficult level with a lot of ways things can go wrong, so we are not locked in by any means. There's plenty of room left for people to change the lead around. So World 8 is the turbo power-up, which is a little different than all the other power-ups in the game because you don't um, collect it and then activate it. It just instantly activates when you touch it. Your car just starts going really fast and you can't do anything about it until it runs out, um, which is a fun power-up, added some fun variety to the game. It maybe you know means that you can't 
make use of it in creative ways where that would have assisted speed running you know if, if perhaps you could bank it and then choose to use it at different points um but that is the main power up and then the new mechanic we're seeing are these little cheese blocks which are basically objects you have to squish them enough so they'll pop and you can pass through and uh so you, you know that's something you're going to want to optimize movement wise in these levels is popping those blocks on the first try right and you may did a skip at the beginning too did not use the intended level to get up to a high enough height to drop down onto it mm -hmm, just did some mm -hmm. flips and was like all right cool i'm good to go that was a rare dev did know about it skip just just to, oh you know, put that out there. all right so, all right <laughs> one of most of what board. you're seeing i had no idea you could do but that one <laughs> that one was intended <laughs> Got it. So now that we have the dev on the call, I got to ask, what the heck with level four? Why'd you put an escort mission in a jelly car game? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like of all the things to add in, just got to know. But here's the thing. It's cool, right? Like, look, <laughs> like, look, at it. look, it like, opens the door for you. And then you got to go ahead and then you got to get down here because then the stop sign's going to open these for you and you, you don't want to get squished. And then, and then it comes down here, you know, and then it gets stuck and then you got to let it go. I mean, there, it's just a okay. relationship that's playing out over it the is. course of this level. But I, I hate to disappoint you. It turns out you can break up with the stop sign here as well, because if you wait on this spot long enough, the exit just kind of comes and slowly catches up to you. Yeah. So. I could not figure out anywhere interesting to put the secret exit in that level. So... <laughs> It just follows behind a little bit. <laughs> this is joining in on the fun. It's like, wait for me. It's like literally the third wheel. Right. Yeah, this one we get to get squished. And I kind of like that squishing is part of all. Oh the my God. That, that, uh, you may skip right there was really nice though. Uh, that was beautiful. Some very nice precision Watching movement on. there to squeeze down and, and skip a skip waiting for a platform and sitting on a button. And then we're going to get, uh, also you're, you're kind of going to see a little bit of every power up here in, um, in world eight because it's kind of the recap world and so it's structured where um there's levels cool. that focus on each power up i mean we're not gonna see all of them of course because we're not playing all eight but you get to see some of the different power-ups that have been oh and there's the there's the uh the comp <laughs> the what what did you do walliver why would you make it and when you come out of the world the platform just leaves you behind instantly right um, and just an un unavoidable cycle delay there my apologies on behalf of jelly car and it's associated <laughs> uh <laughs> i don't know what i'm trying to say here sorry about that you guys i'll try I'll, I, we should fix that one and then you can all have to specify what version you were playing on when you got the <laughs> this section is pretty cool though you can use this little saw like shape back and forth to try to launch onto the top the goal is to skip as many of the saws as possible because you want to be at the top so for speed running go fast but they still usually have to do at least a few bounces back and forth in order to make it up to the top here. Yeah. And then I make you wait for that gear. You know, you just got to sit there while the gear. <laughs> Need to have room to breathe. Ooh, that Which was super right. fast. It was a stop sign. That's good. Hey, for you, right? and we got to see the rainbow. I'm happy. <laughs> Eight to <laughs> seven. Pressure, pressure, give me pressure. <laughs> <laughs> the runners are getting a little competitive about this. This is the final level in the speed run because we can skip level eight. But this it's one not is easy. very dangerous. Grapple underneath. Oh wow! Didn't even have to grapple a single cheese block. That was that was beautiful. That was impressive. Bad so news here for we're trying to skip really through. Want to catch on here? This is oh. you know, this is looking really good. GGs. Now the tricky part here is just to drop down and get the secret exit right there. Got it. Okay, I didn't have time to do the skip because that was scary. And this is going to be a domination. So when is time? Time is when we see the... Uh... When the cloud hits you into the ground. Spoilers, there's another cloud jump scare, because of course there is. This should right. be right about now. There. Yes. 33. Wow. Okay, unofficial time here over me. Over here was 33.19, but Yume's splits are showing 33.11. Is that a PB? That is. That is a PB. Wow. Wow, dang, and really close, actually, to the world record as well. Let's uh, let's watch everyone finish up here. We got uh, uh, Tokyo is getting there. Oh, Metro Berry's struggling a little bit to get to the... <laughs> oh, oh, actually, Metro and Zombie, though, absolutely neck and neck right now. So uh, we'll watch you both complain about this cycle here. There we go. <laughs> and then <laughs> this could be really close here, though, to see how we finish out in terms of the remaining... And, uh, Oh, oh, Tokyo's oh, on the final level. But Tokyo is, is, uh, has, to has a different route here than we saw you may show a moment ago. And you can see why this level is uh, not everyone's favorite because those cheese blocks are really tricky. It's it's hard to get a feel for exactly how hard you can hit them and they'll break or not break. And so 
Now the question is, can you get enough of a launch there? Okay, got it. Nice. Nice. Yeah, because the grappling hook has a limited range. If you're not close enough to the wall, you are going to fall into the pit, and that's not fast. <laughs> you want to hit the level, not the pit part. Nice, lands okay. right in the secret exit <sighs> there. There it is, and so <laughs> for Tokyo coming in with... There. Well, I guess I stopped the timer, so <laughs> I actually don't know. <laughs> uh, GG's either way. way. That's two Ugh. done. Nice run. Because that was still wow. a really solid run. I would say that's still within a minute or so of world record. And like, well, I, beat, time was I, I think I beat Yumiye's old PB. Wow. But yeah, this is this Yumiye is a PB. So. Metro Berry now also mm. in the last level here. Good swing underneath after the first cheese. We're looking for that launch nice, up to get to that one nice. platform that's a little, a little scary there. <gasps> Gonna go for a little Whoa. reset. Oh, here. that's. It's, you, I don't know do if it. I can. Oh, yeah. Maybe not. No. Yeah. Oh, may have run At out of power. At that point, you're gonna run out of. Zombie a chance. Zombie's also on the final level. This mm, may be the, the overtake spot. right uh, here. Yikes. Let's take a look here. Zombie on the big screen. Here we go. <laughs> Incredibly <laughs> close. Oh, nice. Very Ooh, good. Good. Actually, ahead of ahead of their ghost, which is cool. Although. Playing a little safe there on the landing, so probably not going to beat there. I'm oh, 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 not oh. having a good time. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, <laughs> managed to grab oh. the secret before falling through the level. That yeah. was incredible. GG. Close. All right, yeah. Let's see a little few car Let's flips there the as we go bit. get trolled by the cloud. <laughs> and time for zombie. Congratulations. GGs. Very well done. Okay, Metro Berry here for the redemption. Here, here it comes. There it is. Oh, that Easy. was beautiful. Plenty Easy. of height. No worries whatsoever. Oh, that was very small. Uh, well. oh, oh, very oh, aggressive. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah I, I didn't have enough power up to do that with that. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. We thought you were just uh, just like swagging Going for the, the style points. Yeah. You know, the power up being on a timer does limit, you know, how much you can mess around here, how much recovery you have available to you. Going up for the top platform again. Makes it easily. Oh, anytime we're going fast like this, it's me nervous. Okay, plenty of power of that time to line okay, up the there, shot. Hey, oh, there it nice. is. Nice. All right, now we just nice. gotta wait for time. Let's have to see one more very rude cloud interrupting everyone's day. <laughs> so uh, my friend just raided and told me to win. Uh, how do how do I tell him? <laughs> uh, you won out of the people who are currently still racing. Time. Yeah. <laughs> that, that that is true. <laughs> okay. Uh, Congratulations. Thank you. That was uh, a really was... unfortunate ending. I was a minute behind my PB until the last level. Oh, oh man. <laughs> and then That's I what happens them. when yeah. you can't reset. Plus you know. 12. <laughs> it's our reset. I was close. <laughs> kind of, if you think about it. <laughs> There's wow, well. There was a lot that everyone. went wrong there. <laughs> yeah. That was still Honestly. very, very fast, though, honestly. And, and, um, Everyone right. stayed pretty close together. We saw some amazing strats. I, I think this was a beautiful showcase of this glorious mm. game that you can break in interesting and fun ways. Say so well done to Yumi. Like, there's nothing yeah, I no. could have done. I don't know. That was insane. They I'm pretty happy with record. that anyway. I, yeah, I that played was really well. More and... than a minute, so like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes you just do better than the other Sometimes one person just does a really good job. There was nothing you could have done. You might yeah. have absolutely crushed it today. I mean, yeah. when someone shows up and they're currently in second place and then they get a PB in the event, I mean, you know, <laughs> you were going to have to be absolutely at the top of yeah. your game to, <laughs> to, to take it. So congratulations. Yumae-san, omedetou gozaimasu. Arigatou san says... They were very, very nervous. Um, that is fair. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, that was amazing. Um, and I want to thank all of our runners for putting in so much effort and playing the game. And, and you know, um, not, of course, not just coming here today to participate in the race, but also enjoying this game as a speedrunning game and keeping that community as vibrant as it is right now i was telling char bunny that we've had a lot of activity on the ils in this game you know and it makes sense as a level based game and so if you saw any of this and you think hey, that would be a fun game to mess around with and maybe try to play fast um you know you can definitely just pick any level you like including that one the golf one where you just skip one button and touch the stop yeah, sign if button. you get it right it's like less than a second or something so you know the barrier to entry is very low to come check out the game so um, if you would like to do so and have been inspired by our incredibly talented runners today, 
check out the game and uh, join the Discord, which is where everyone hangs out and talks about strats and shares videos and shows me videos of the car exploding and the physics breaking in every possible way. And uh, it's a lot of fun. And uh, this was this was fantastic. I want to thank Charbunny so much for helping me and giving such an air of just official and professionalism to this broadcast that uh, is absolutely unmatched. And um, I hope maybe you'll be willing to come by again sometime when we do another event. Um, we'll have to think back. of what's the correct category to do next. So uh, everyone rush to the Discord and, you know, debate that. But um, I think that's that's it for us. Once again, everyone, absolutely great job. This is a fantastic race. And congratulations to you, Maya, coming in and kind of continuing that narrative of being the runner who sort of showed up and is uh, really breathing down everyone's necks. I imagine the leaderboard on speedrun.com is probably gonna shuffle a little bit as uh, as people continue to do runs i know there was a lot of practice that was put in for this event so everyone's better now at the at the full any percent run and uh hopefully we'll see some new people on the leaderboard as well that could be and, you uh, that could be <laughs> you watching right now and will not be me uh <laughs> but you know <laughs> wow that's quitting talk already sheesh <laughs> Yes, thank you again one more time to our competitors doing an absolutely wonderful job. And again, this was a cash prize event. So Metrovarian Zombie taking home $50 for their work today. But Tokyo coming in with $100 earned. And of course, Yumaye winning $200 for an incredible time today during the event. All right. Well, thanks again. And uh, we'll do some more of these community events in the future. So uh, stick around and keep an eye out for those. And thanks again, Charbunny. And thanks everyone for watching. Thank Bye. you.